Welcome to Stonewash. This is my open spoiler discussion for Dungeons and Dragons Honor Amongst Thieves. If you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button and click on that bell so you can notify for future videos. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And yes, after checking out Dungeons and Dragons Honor Amongst Thieves in the theater opening weekend, I gotta say this movie was so damn awesome. Now, again, like I said in all my reaction videos, I haven't played the game in years, but this thing was so much fun. So much fun. Chris Pine and Michelle Rodriguez were just totally awesome in this thing. Hugh Grant plays a really kick-ass villain. I mean, at the same time, he's like, I don't know, he was awesome as the villain in this movie. I mean, there's not much about this movie I don't like. Now, I'm not going to say this is like my top favorite movie of 2023, but it's definitely going to be in the top five. I mean, as of, as of right now, this thing is definitely in the top five of my favorite movies of 2023. I mean, this thing was everything you wanted. It was funny. It had action. It had um a little bit of like a the storyline between Chris Pine and his daughter and stuff like that and how like you know he wasn't around and all the stuff like that and he was trying to get some kind of artifact or something like that to help bring the mom back even though that I don't know I thought this thing was awesome I mean now with a runtime 134 minutes now that was a little over two hours but I thought the pacing in this movie was actually pretty damn good you didn't feel like you were sitting there going oh man how much longer is this thing going to be you know what I'm saying I mean and it also had you know this is like, again this is a spoiler discussion for the movie it did also have a credit scene at the very end which you know it kind of played into like something happened earlier on in the movie and when it did pop up everybody was like oh man it was, it was funny i mean it didn't really set up another movie or anything but it just kind of like i don't want to say it brought closure but it just kind of like brought up a really funny moment in the movie up i i loved it i thought it was awesome dungeons and dragons honor amongst these is a 2023 fantasy heist action comedy film directed by jonathan goldstein and john francis daly who co-wrote the screenplay with Michael Gillio from the story by Chris McKay and Michael Gillio. Based on the tabletop role-playing game Dungeons and Dragons, it is set in the Forgotten Realms campaign setting and has no connections to the film trilogy released between 2000 and 2012. Production went through various phases in development since 2013, beginning with Warner Brother Pictures after beating Hasbro and Universal Pictures in a lawsuit over the film rights to the tabletop role-playing game before moving to Paramount Pictures, each with various writers and directors, with Goldstein and Daly ended up being the final writers and directors, using elements from the previous attempt by director Chris McKay and screenwriter Michael Gillio. Film began in April of 2021 in Iceland and then later in Northern Ireland. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Amongst Thieves had its world premiere at South by Southwest on March 10th of 2023 and was released in the United States on March 31st of 2023 by Paramount Pictures. The film has received positive reviews from the critics. Starring in this movie, Chris Pine, Michelle Rodriguez, Ro Jijon Badge, Justice Smith, Sophia Lillis, and Hugh Grant, just to name a few. Coming out of opening weekend, Dungeons and Dragons is sitting with a Rotten Tomato score of 91%, with 218 top critics reporting in. So majority of the top critics are all loving this movie. Now over in the audience side, it's sitting with a score of 93%, with a thousand plus fans telling you what they think. So the fans and the critics are pretty much on the same page as far as how much they love this movie movie now which i have to agree this movie was a lot of fun now i keep hearing people say this felt like they were actually playing the game i haven't played the game in years and then what i do remember playing the game it never really felt like this but this was a lot of fun and i could actually see that in the way like i saw a breakdown video on how they were trying to like show how it was kind of like playing the game I could totally see that and it was like so awesome and again with the credit scene playing in with the scene earlier on in the movie that was just so damn badass now I don't know whether or not if this thing's actually going to get a sequel or not to be quite honest with you I mean with a budget of 150 million dollars and it's estimated domestic box office of 38.5 million dollars and it's international box office of 33 million dollars which brings its total worldwide box office to 71.5 million dollars which is almost pretty much its production budget i don't know how much the marketing budget was so i don't know how much they got to make as far as that goes but at least in the first weekend they're off to a pretty damn good start you know what i'm saying and they did also manage to get the number one spot in for the weekend at the box office now i, I asked a co-worker hey do you think that dungeons and dragons is gonna knock john wick four out of the number one box office oh no no way well there you go man it did it so i mean how well it performs in week two is going to really tell us if this thing has any legs later on down the road. Now, I'm hoping it makes a halfway decent 
amount of money. I would like to see this cast come back and do another movie. I mean, this thing was totally better than the Jeremy Irons Dungeons and Dragons movies that came out in 2000. Now, I was kind of shocked to see that it said that there was a trilogy. During research for this video, I found out about the other two. And I actually kind of looked to see about, check them out because I don't remember them being advertised all that much back then. And I see they went straight to DVD. And that's probably why. I mean, that's the equivalent now to a movie going straight to streaming as far as I'm concerned. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's a terrible movie. But that does show that the studio did not have any confidence in that movie. And they just went, you know, I don't know what the budgets for those things were. I think I saw one was like $12 million. So they didn't really spend a whole lot of money. So it doesn't really get me going, hey, I definitely got to see that. You know what I mean? Now, I wanted to bring this up because I thought this was pretty cool when it actually happened in the movie. Now, when it gets to the part and they're in the arena and they're trying to fight for their lives and stuff like it, there's like two other groups that are in there with them. And when they pan the camera over to the group that's like I think it was on like on their left of them and what have you it was the characters from the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon from back in the 80s now I had to look a couple times to make sure I'm like is that what I think it is and then and it was I thought that was an awesome easter egg and they actually were pretty much I was like a vital part of this scene but they were in it quite a bit now I don't know whether or not they actually made it out or not because then everything all things got all crazy but I thought it was really cool to see them in this you know what I'm saying I mean I thought that was really awesome that was like one of the best easter eggs I they could actually she threw into this thing you know what i mean so i don't know man all i can say is i really like this movie i had a lot of fun watching this movie i mean i laughed out loud a lot during this movie i mean a, a lot i mean like the, the scene when they're actually talking to the dead people which that's in the trailer so that's not really much of a spoiler but they talk to more than just one and it's just hilarious man i mean just downright hilarious and so i don't know i can't i'm hoping it makes enough money so they can actually bring this cast back i mean i don't know if there's an actual story to do but who knows i guess we have to wait and see how this thing performs at the box office right so so did you get a chance to check dungeons and dragons honor amongst these let me know in the comments down below what do you think did you like this movie let me know in the comments down below and do you agree this is better than the jeremy irons dungeons and dragons movies that we got back in 2000 let me know in the comments down below i mean i like this movie i thought this movie was a lot of fun i hope we get a sequel right so let me just think in the comments down below